Hamilton police released this video of a shooting on the Hamilton Mountain last night. They're asking residents in the area of Spring Valley Crescent, Brigadoon Drive, Winterberry Trail and surrounding neighborhoods to review their video surveillance footage for this dark gray Honda Civic between 820 and 840 PM. The driver was reported to be a tanned or dark skinned male wearing a blue medical mask. Good evening and thank you for joining us. A violent 24 hours in the city after three shootings took place as well as an incident on Hamilton Mountain involving a flamethrower. Sean Cowan was following all of this and joined us earlier with more. Well, I'm here in Chuck's Roadhouse on the Hamilton Mountain, just on Upper Centennial. And as you can see behind me here, take a look at these windows. They're being boarded up right now because repairs are being done. Now, this shooting took place around 8 o'clock last night. And police say this plaza was pretty busy at the time. There's another restaurant here, a couple of gyms, as well as some businesses. But fortunately, no one was injured. Now, three shootings took place overnight, and police are confirming that two of them that happened on the Hamilton Mountain are connected. Just after 8 o'clock last night, police say several shots were fired at Chuck's Roadhouse, formerly Boston Pizza, on the Stony Creek Mountain. It was unoccupied at the time and no one was hurt. We had six bullets shot through the windows and the vehicle took off and that was the end of it. Yeah, it's pretty rough. I think that the uh, gun... Uh, violence has gotten way out of control. 15 minutes later, around 8.30 last night, shots were fired at this home on Spring Valley Crescent. Two people were home, but no injuries. Police are confirming both shootings are connected as they are looking for the same suspects. Two men in a dark Honda, both wearing face masks. Police are now asking people who live in the areas to reach out. Our main call is to ask community members to review their personal uh, residence security cameras if they live in the area. If there's businesses that may not have been open uh, to review their security camera, as well as anyone who is driving in the area, if they have dash camera footage, we'd like to hear from them if they have something suitable for review. A few hours later, around midnight, another shooting, this one unrelated to the previous two. It happened in the Center Mall parking lot near Ottawa and Barton Street. Two males were seen in what police describe as an altercation, but both took off and there were no reports of injuries. What happens if I was here? I, would, I could have been shot, I could have been, you never know, right? You never know. If it was random, you know, innocent people could have got hurt. You'd... In one way, it doesn't surprise me, but it kind of shocks me, especially when the police should be on top of this. Police were also called to a home on the Hamilton Mountain around 10.30 this morning. This time, no guns involved, but another weapon of sort. As soon as they arrived, they were presented with a female who appeared to be in distress. She was in possession of what's being described right now as a flamethrower. As a result, the female was taken safely into custody by our officers. Our officers now, as a result, four of our officers are being treated for smoke inhalation. And I am told tonight that those four officers uh, were treated and released from the hospital. Now back to the shootings for a moment. Uh, they are still under investigation, but we did get word from Hamilton Police tonight that there are guns off the street in an unrelated matter. They tell us 38-year-old Jonathan Campbell of Hamilton is facing seven charges, all relating to guns and ammunition found at his home on East 24th Street.